hi Capricorn, feel free to uh, jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. So if you click in the description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that and that will uh, bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to take these in, clarify if I need to, and I'll be back. All right, so uh, Capricorn, let's start your reading. All right, so I'm not sure, you've got the Hierophant, let's start with yourself. You've got the Hierophant showing up in your spread, which talks about higher commitment. Um, or even higher knowledge. Let me pull on that before I dive ahead because I feel like for some of you, and this is just for some of you, some of you guys, there's a level of commitment here. Not sure whether that's marriage or engaged. I feel like maybe some of you guys might be engaged or just in an exclusive long-term relationship, which might be leading to, um, yeah, we've got the uh, perfect, yeah. So, this, there's a, a higher commitment here, there's a, a, a relationship here, an established relationship here. Um, but there is something that's going on behind the scenes for you because there's, you're not kind of content with certain aspects of this relationship. And I don't feel like you've communicated with this person simply because how this person is showing up. It seems like they're kind of, I tell you Capricorn, this person is kind of living in this bubble of happy where they are, uh, focused on where they want to go or where they want to bring this relationship. Like I said, for some of you, you could be moving towards or engage and moving towards marriage or, or, or you know, just kind of uh, maybe, maybe for some of you moving towards becoming exclusive. But there is this focus on where they feel this relationship is going with the King of Wands. So they're kind of content with that, with that nine. They're content, they're basking in just how things are. Um, they're showing up as the four, which talks about foundation, uh, an established foundation. So they've laid uh, a foundation with you and they're moving towards where they feel they're going with you. So that's their focus at the moment with that nine, sorry, with that eight, moving towards that, that nine. You guys could have had some turbulence at some point, um, but you've kind of moved past that or you're moving past that. For you though, like I said, you do have that seven and then we have that two. So there's uh, there's something around this relationship that you're not content with, but you're not communicating it with this person. There's no communication. I don't feel like you've sat this person down. For some of you, you might have done. Maybe you might have done. Yeah, and maybe it fell on deaf ears. Maybe this person lacked understanding or uh, didn't really take into consideration maybe how important the conversation was because it feels like you're not focused on them so much you're focused on this other thing that's either developed or what's going on in the background of this relationship seems like you're not wanting to so the two represents not wanting to deal with something not seeing something not paying attention to something and that's what you've got your focus is not really on this your focus is on what's giving you this sun feeling so the sun talks about you know a positive element something having some form of positive impact in your world so whatever it is that you're engaging in I'm not sure whether you're engaging in it because it's taking you away from just dealing with what you're not getting in this relationship or this is something that so so otherwise if that wasn't the case you wouldn't even be engaging in this thing obviously uh, or, or it wouldn't feel as fulfilling for you as it would have done or might have done had this, you know, or this is something that maybe a project or something that you've wanted to, wanted to engage in. For some, for instance, maybe you wanted to take up dancing or 
um, an instrument, a plain instrument, and maybe some form of hobby. And this person was in, you know, in disagreement with it or didn't come on board with it. Maybe it's something like that. But it's definitely something that you feel has or is creating some form of positive impact in your world in some way or on you. Um, and that's what you're focusing on. You're, yes, you're showing up as three of wands, which talks about you moving towards something. So yes, you're operating within this relationship, but are you, but are you focused here? And your focus is not really here. Your focus is outside of here. I'm not sure what went down um, because we got that justice card there, which talks about wanting. This is what you're wanting. You're wanting justice um, and that feeling of, of victory. I feel like I feel like because as much as this person, let me just jump to them for a second. As much as this person is living in their bubble of where they think they are with you there is this still this sense for them or awareness for them that they're not reached the destination yet and they're moving towards that they're moving towards that and there's this adamant um with that emperor card there they're wanting to stay the course they want to stick to what it is that they yeah stick to the vision stick to what you guys have spoken about wanting or where you're both taking this relationship yeah this justice card this justice card i mean the, the thing the thing with this is is this could if this is a hobby if this is representing some form of hobby let me clarify let's clarify that sun see if we can um if that's representing a hobby well i, I, I guess i don't need to clarify the sun because you guys would know what that represents for you if this is representing a hobby or something that you have always wanted to do and you've brought it to the table and said to the, you know your partner said you know well you know, this is something that I've always wanted to take up, and they've kind of said, no, we haven't got enough finances for that, we haven't blah, 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 then, you know, I, I get it, uh, and, you know, sometimes, I mean, <laughs> it's, as long as it's, well, the, the, the problem with this is, is taking it, it's taking you away, it's taking your focus away from um, this relationship and this person. I feel like their response to this is what's done it for you more so there's a feeling of not being important or not your feelings not being validated or uh, valued or um, your needs not being acknowledged uh, so to speak um, I don't think this is a person I don't think that's a person for some of you it could be if it is a person then we're entering to but we're, in, we're, we're embarking in in sticky waters here but this person is living in the bubble, so I get why you're responding to them like this, because it seems like they're caught up in their own emotions of this relationship. They're happy, and they're indulging in that, they don't want nothing to rock that, um, and it seems like they're, yeah, they're just kind of oblivious, they've got this oblivious type of uh, mindset coming from, from them. Let's clarify, let's see got the sun card again so it really kind of gives you yeah and you're protecting it you're wanting to protect it defend it it's like uh, -uh i'm not going to allow anything to come in and disrupt this because it feeds me in some way so whatever this is is feeding you in some way so therefore it's important to you i want to pull in that justice card there i do want to pull in that justice yeah so last you recognize okay so that just opens up um this situation a, a bit more we've got the tower card there you recognize that this is falling apart you recognize that there's a potential loss here or a feeling of loss here i'm not sure why it's on on top of the justice i feel like that's coming from a place of i get this sense i'm trying to verbalize what, what's coming up for me guys i get this sense of you having spoken to this person in the past or warn this person about this or warn this person about something and maybe there was it was falling on deaf ears or it wasn't acknowledged or something and you feel like now you've been in this space is some form of justice in some way which is why you're not panicked because i feel like there's there's, a, there's no panic around this falling apart or you losing this and you moving moving ahead maybe for some of you guys was you know this has been going on for a while especially with that three of swords there yeah there's been some hurt in this relationship 
which hasn't healed, which hadn't been mended, hence why it's gotten to this space. It's gotten to this space here. And for you, it's like, I'm, I'm, I've, I've found this thing that I can now focus on that feeds me and I'm now ready to move on. And that in itself makes you feel like justice is being served. You feel like there's been some form of victory, success for you. And this person is none of the wiser. Because this is going on internally for you. They are none of the wiser of what is happening because they're so focused. And maybe that was the problem. Maybe this person was so focused on their needs, what they wanted. Yeah, do you see that? <laughs> the Ten of Cups, which talks about fulfillment. Yes, they're fulfilled, cross-watcher. Yes, you're fulfilled. But as your partner, there should be a balance of, of both. Your, both your cups need to be filled up. And, and they tend to focus on their own. Um, so that's what's kind of really going on. I, I don't blame you. I hear you. I hear that. But not even a but. Not even a but. Capricorn. I will be implementing the part twos where we kind of move in. I pull some cards. And I'm um, still trying to figure out what it is, if I'm honest with you, that what you guys would like <laughs> in terms of the part twos. Not sure whether you guys would want to see what's coming up next or for me to dive deeper into, to, into the psychology of the person or whatever the case may be, but maybe give me your thoughts in the comment section. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week. Bye.